Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be changing out the transfer case fluid on my Toyota 4Runner. If you guys have four wheel drive like I do, there's actually a transfer case right in the middle that connects the four wheel drive system together and there's actually oil in there. Typically you would want to change this fluid every 100,000 miles. In my case, I'm going to do it every 50,000 miles just so I can prolong this truck a little bit longer. The job shouldn't be very hard at all and it shouldn't cost very much money to do this job. Let's take a look at some of the tools and parts that we have for this job. All you're going to need for this job is a half inch ratchet with a 24 millimeter socket. This is for the drain and fill bolt. A torque wrench that's capable of 37 foot pounds is useful, but not necessary. You can just hand tighten it, but we're gonna use a torque wrench for this video. You're gonna need 75 weight 90 gear oil. In my case, I can't find it, so I'm just gonna use 80 weight 90, and it's been running fine. I actually have 80 weight 90 in there right now. You're gonna need 1.1 quarts, and it's helpful to actually buy the one quart jugs, as you'll see later in the video, as we fill the transfer case. And you also need new crush washers for the job. I'll leave part numbers on the screen and in the video description for you guys, so you guys can find it easier. And then one last thing not shown here is you will need something to drain the oil in. And then having a pair of gloves is helpful to keep your hands clean. All right guys, let's get started with the job. Right here we are under the driver's seat pretty much. This is where the transfer case is located. You can see here this is the drain bolt. This up here is the fill bolt. They're both 24 millimeters. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the fill bolt first, just in case we have problems and it doesn't wanna come off. If that's the case, don't bother changing your fluid. There you go, that one was pretty easy. That one was pretty easy as well. So we're gonna just take this one off a little bit and get your drain pan ready. Probably helps to take the fill bolt off first. Otherwise, it's going to come out all strange. Well, actually, not too bad. Wow, this fluid is really clean. So make sure you do take off the crush washer as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and take off the fill bolt now as well. Take off the crush washer. The bolts don't seem to be specific. There's no magnet on the other one. They're both just normal bolts. All right guys, looks like it's finished draining. So we're just gonna clean the surfaces here a little bit and prep our new crush washers. So this crush washer is not side specific. So you can put it on any way. We're gonna put it on the uh, drain here first. Torque it down to 37 foot pounds. There we go. All right, to fill this, we're gonna try to use this one quart jug here and I've already filled it with one quart or maybe a little bit more. And we're just gonna try to get it to the top there. And we're gonna put it in there until it starts uh, coming out of here. All right, as you guys can see, it is dripping out of there now, so we are full and we're going to put the fill bolt back on now. Make sure you put a new crush washer on, not side specific. All right, we're going to torque this to 37 foot pounds. All right, that's pretty much it. All right, you guys, we are all done with the job. As you saw, it was very simple. All you needed was a couple hand tools, 24 millimeter and some new gasket and a little bit of oil. Make sure you do take it for a test drive and check for leaks. And outside of that, you shouldn't have to do anything else. You should be good for at least 100,000 miles now. And as you saw, that oil that came out of there was brand new and it was only 30,000 miles. I just changed it 30,000 miles ago. So you should have peace of mind for the rest of the life of the vehicle. And hopefully you shouldn't have to worry about that transfer case again. Well guys, as always, I'll leave links to all the parts and tools I use in the video description below, as well as all the information that I use in this video. If this video helped you guys out, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps my channel out a lot and motivates me to make more videos for you guys. If you guys have any questions, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments below. If you guys like content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.